sitting here under my awning at this boondockers welcome as you can see it's a pretty wide open area there's other uh trailers there's a airstream over here and then i think that the other one that's parked over there is actually the owners they apparently do a lot of boondocking or a lot of rv travel themselves they're pretty good view i i don't know what kind of farm this is yet or what kind of orchard this is i haven't gotten out to really take a look but i'm going to figure that out here shortly norman and i are going to take a walk but it's kind of cool because it runs right along the the uh boundary line here there's looks like there's a city path like a bike path and it takes us down to the river one direction and into town the other so we're going to be exploring that later on our bikes I'm really excited today because this is our first time utilizing Boondockers Welcome, a membership that allows fully contained RVers to stay with other RVers who offer up their property for use. And it's really a mutual exchange kind of situation. Um, I do pay a membership fee to Boondockers Welcome, but I don't have to pay anything to the owner of this property very beautiful here. We are um, hooked up to electricity. Um, we're here for two nights and the weather is simply spectacular. Most important, for me at least, is that this is an area of Oregon that's been too close to home. We're about mm, less than an hour away from where we've spent the last 25 years, so we never made this a destination. I'm really excited to spend the next couple of days exploring this little town and just really, um, I don't know, just making the most of this membership. So we're in the city of Lebanon, Oregon. This is like the, their downtown area. Um, it's rather precious. Right now we're headed towards a Irish pub, right? I, I don't know. We just felt like getting out of our motor home and checking out this little town so let's go see what they have to offer yeah, i know there's a few yeah. there there's, it's not there's no walk it says don't don't walk <laughs> oh my bad yeah look at there's a theater here and they're actually playing a new release so it's still an operational theater very cool it's really rough Not sure? Okay, so there is a place called Conversion. There's a... So you're not sure about this one? Yeah, I don't know about this one. Okay, so we also have uh, Barsidious Brewing right over there. And there's supposed to be a place also called Conversion. Okay. Are you... Are you a little intimidated by the Irish pub? I wasn't intimidated, no. It just... The sign outside said cold beer, and I think it was spelled wrong. <laughs> it's kind of like when you see a motel or a hotel, and it says color TV. <laughs> Check out the sweet limo. <laughs> you can win that. Win me? Wow. So we did find something open. This is called... Conversion Brewing. We're going to go check them out. Mm -hmm. it's very good. This is good. really, really light. Like, uh, just for this hot day, it's perfect. Yeah. What was the one we sampled, though? The triple, what was it? It was the Belgian triple. And it was delicious. It had a sweet. I mean, if you don't like beer, but you like ciders, this would be good. That would be a good compromise for someone that's like not a hint of hops. No, it's a heavy wheat. Yeah, it's very heavy wheat. It's almost sweet though. Very good. But now we've discovered that they have a, like a clay yeah, clay oven clay over there with wood fired pizza. Oh my gosh, we have kind of written off pizza because every time, every time we eat it. It's not good. So, what is your choice going to be? Do you want to just have a beer here and then eat Thai food or something different? <laughs> Love to see. Let's see, anyway, conversion brewing if you're in Lebanon, Oregon. Mm. And it's 
a lovely, a lovely little restaurant. Like, it's a cool little I feel, I feel immediately comfortable here. All right, now, take two on the pizza. <laughs> the first one, actually, they made a mistake and put some chicken on it. So, first bite, we're like, oh, that's chicken. Yeah. Can't have that. So, they were kind enough to put the rush on it, got us another one out. So, this one looks better anyway. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that cheese. cheese. Good lord. All right, so, moment of truth. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Two thumbs up on that. Let's taste it with a nice cold beer. <laughs> I'm gonna wait. Based, on your, based on your feedback, I'm gonna. You know, the funny thing is, is it was really hot, but it's so good. I'm gonna eat more of it. Even though it's hot. All right. So I will say that great service. When we asked them about making a new pizza for us. We didn't get any problems. They even offered to give us the other pizza to offer it to someone else. We, I guess we could have given it to our host. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Let's see. Mm. I love... I really love, like, um, the wood fire crust. So much better. Can't go wrong with artichoke art on pizza. Mm. All right. We'll go back to you after we eat. Mm -hmm. We've just completed a two-day stay at a Boondockers Welcome location in Lebanon, Oregon. And we want to thank Don and Linda. They've been fantastic hosts. Right when we pulled in, Don met us here at the, at the entrance. He has this big, beautiful area for us to park in, which is all private property. He gave us a long extension cord, hooked us up with some power. He had a super long hose and made sure that we had water in our tanks. He came by a few times, him and his wife, Don and his wife, and super friendly couple. They have this location, and they actually have one more in La Paz, Mexico. So they're kind of pushing us to say, come down and visit us there too. So we're gonna add some information for them on here. And um, if you're interested, if you've never done a Boondockers Welcome, it's kind of cool. You know, we are staying parked right out here in the middle of this, of his uh, lot, his field. He actually has his own little planted woods over here, which we got to go and tour through. I set up some trail cams, but I didn't actually catch anything on there. But I did see, I went down to the river, which was about a two minute bike ride. And I did actually catch a video of some deer swimming across the river, which was kind of cool. So we're getting ready to take off here and head to our next location. Thanks for joining us, and if you get a chance, try Boondockers Welcome. So far, our experience has been really good.